What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a get ready like never before in the beauty community and I brought the one and only Tati Westbrook. Hey girl. Hey guys. <laughs> Now, I discovered Tati on the sidebar of YouTube about a year ago, and I was like, oh my god, who is this beautiful creature? I clicked one of her videos, and it was a crazy review, so I'm going to put it out there for you. I'm just going to say it. I think that Tati is the queen of reviews in oh the beauty community. Oh my god. Okay? And she uploads five times a week, you guys. Girl. It's a lot of makeup. How do you do that? I don't, I really don't have a life, I don't sleep, I just play with product 24 seven. And you know what's crazy, up close, not that I ever doubted, her Her skin is so snatched and flawless thank for putting on all that makeup. Oh, thank you, Jeffrey. What is that, by the way? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is my like deep puffing magic tool. Okay. Um, Kim Kardashian uses this. Okay. So I'm always like, well, I, I gotta use it If she too. loves it, it's probably yes, amazing. this is from Nurse Jamie. It's the uplift tool, it has, uh, what is it? It has some kind of, or some kind of, I don't okay, know. It looks, it, like a, it looks like a out. medieval uh, weapon and I'm kind of living for it. It's how I prime. You gotta okay. like smooth everything out, I'm make like, it shit, tight, make mom, it right, you know. Mom needs to go order one when we land. <laughs> <laughs> so today, you guys, I thought we would do something over the top. We've done get ready's in the studio. I introduced the Rolls Royce series on my channel. Now it's time to go to the next level and who better than to go to the next level with the neat girl. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So we're going to fly to Vegas today. What are we gonna do? We're just gonna get ready. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna shop a little maybe. Maybe do a little damage. I mean, I, I wanna do a little damage. I mean, I love Vegas and, and I think it's only fitting. So we're gonna do a little soft glam on our faces today and let's see what it's like to get ready in an airplane. Oh, I I'm see my favorite gonna, primer. I see my favorite primer in our bag. I know. Well, you're on to a new one right now though, right? I'm, I'm trying something out that one is so so good I'm gonna put my hair oh back. this one is the best the double tensor from sicily yes. well i'm gonna cheat and i know that you are not obsessed with this primer no but this is the urban decay optical illusion complexion primer i don't know why you guys for me it makes me look like amazing i don't but know what it is isn't that the amazing thing with makeup that something can work so well for one person and maybe not for another, another skin type. So you always want to see more than one review. You I want agree. to hear more about a product from just one person, you know? And what I really love about your channel is that, um, like me, she's brutally honest. Like, mm -hmm. to a fault. Yes. But that's why I love your channel too. Because the next you keep level. it so real. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're always so thorough and real about everything and, you know, a lot of people, not to be shady, but you know, a lot of people are getting paid to say things are great, and I mm -hmm. love that you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I would rather just kind of go hard and make the videos the way that I want to make them, and yes. it's more fun for me that way. I agree. I think it's amazing. And what are we doing for foundation? What is that? This is Revlon. Okay. okay everything else in the Youth Fix line, no. But this one I'm okay. actually enjoying. It's thick, like the Urban Decay oh, one. I like it. Okay. Okay, I'm into two things at once right now. I mean, I'd love doing that. Two so is what better are we, than what one. What are we mixing today? Knit Cosmetics CC Cream that has a bronze property to it and SPF, okay. and then Becca's Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. Oh my god. Why have I never used that one? <gasps> you they have some good primers, would love but I've this. never. It's so good. I'm gonna do a little Dior today. Okay, I was oh, scared. Yes, I'm like, we put aerosols on a plane and spray it, and you can't. And it just can't be overheated. I was like, am I gonna cause a scene here? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> da, da, da. You know, I've never used that yet. It just kind of blends everything right in. Does it? Okay. I'm like, I'm gonna have to go shopping after this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you said that, that oh, you were doing okay. stuff in Seattle. So are you from there? Yes, I grew up in Seattle. Okay, for everyone out there, mm -hmm. we're gonna do a little history lesson. Mm -hmm. So from Seattle, I love that city, from by the Seattle, way. From Seattle, um, I did a lot of musical theater growing up, so okay. yes, love it, love being on stage, did acting, and moved to Los Angeles with my mom and three sisters when I was 13. Wow, three sisters. Yep. Okay, girl. Uh, parents divorced, dad stayed in Seattle. I did a little bit of flip-flop between Seattle and LA. Okay. I still do, and that's kind of just where it ends. Yeah, because you, you were know? there recently, so you still have a lot of family there, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. That's awesome. I think Seattle is such a cool city. So what, do you remember the first time you fell in love with the makeup products or like? Yes, I do. I know you do. I, 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 I've been like dying to ask you like, what was your first 
like mom sold Mary Kay for a brief moment. No way. And she okay. had a bag of like the mini little lipstick samples that are like this big. Okay. And I remember thinking, oh, this is my size. Like yeah. this one, this was made for me. Yeah. You know, so I was itty bitty little putting on makeup and I just was obsessed with it from the start. I was just born to love it and my mom paints in watercolors and is an artist so I kind of picked up a lot of that from her, I think. I love that. I've never not loved makeup. I was pretending to be a makeup artist when I was 10 doing my sister's makeup, yep. you know? <laughs> I'm like, hell yeah. So now, so what was your so what was your first makeup job? I've been dying to know that. Like, did you work at a counter? Like, my first job ever was at Mac at Beverly Center at the mall. Well, I worked at a kiosk. I forgot about that. Okay. <laughs> what kiosk? I worked at a kiosk selling mineral makeup, like shiny mineral uh -huh. makeup. And I would show you how to turn it into, like, nail polish, liner. Oh, my God. I remember those people right? that were trying to get me to yes, buy that. Yes, I was that person that would, like, chase you down the mall and be like, you need this. I lived that life for a minute. And then I worked for Nordstrom at the Bare Minerals counter. For oh, a while, wow. Okay, so. come on, Bare Minerals. Yeah. Oh my God, browse on this moving plane right now. I know. Come on, browse. The pilot said that, oh, we are like we're going over the mountains. That there'd be a little turbulence over the mountains. So, this so is what from is Elf. That? It's like a. I thought the, that was NARS. No, I know, right? Packaging. Um, it's the putty blush. And I don't know why, but oh. I love this. You're going to die. You're going to die. I want to try a bunch of putty stuff on my channel because putty I've makeup. seen you and Laura do so many putty things, and I'm like. Putty makeup challenge. Look at that. Pretty. Is that still for sale? Yes, it's new. Okay. I'm like, you don't have to. Oh, it's new. Okay. I'm, like, I'm gonna have to go grab that. So, not to toot my own horn, but I've discovered a new contour shade. And <laughs> it's from my home palette. It's from your own palette. So, Lipstick Nick, my makeup artist that always does my stuff for on set, she started dipping into Safe Word, which is a very oh. cool toned, uh, soft brown color in my palette. Love it. It is so good for contouring. I might hit pan on my own palette, but thank God I know. Yeah, ask for a new one. <laughs> you probably have a few backups. Right? right. Let's just think about cutting these cheekbones. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. How does that work? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with her right now. What did that just do? Is that safe? No. Why? <laughs> 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 All right, so okay. I'm going to do a little highlight for brows today. I've been doing this a lot lately. I did this in high school, and now that there's so many highlighting products, I am back to highlighting and just not doing any brows. I love that look. So I've always wanted to know, and I yeah. don't know if this is too personal or not, but okay. your brow situation. Yeah. Tell me more why the no brow. Okay, so when I was in high school, I really became obsessed with makeup. And my real brows are really low. Okay. So I wanted a lot more room. So I, so, um, I was like, hey, I'm shaving them off. And my mom was like, okay, cool. Like, look, if you have good grades, so I have straight A's, uh -huh. right? You can look however the hell you want. You do you. So I shaved them off. Uh -huh. And I started drawing them on really high in high school. Like, if you look at old pictures, you're going to be like, oh, my God, girl, chill out. So I really just wanted more room. And I never let them grow back. And I just kind of always maintain it yeah and I've been drying them on for so long now so when those funny things come out like stencils and stamps I'm like girl yeah old-fashioned free handing them on is the way to go for me yes so you're using the new Urban Decay heat palette mm -hmm. which for some reason someone swatched it online all weird and the whole internet exploded with like mm -hmm. this is shitty everyone's lying and I'm like girl Urban Decay is consistently great um, it's really nice. I'm it, liking it. It looks right? amazing. It looks pigmented. It's blending great. Mm -hmm. It's just a fucking normal palette. I don't know what everyone's deal is. Okay, this may sound like a little silly. Mm -hmm. What got you into reviewing all this amazing expensive stuff? You know, I am a luxury brand whore. Mm -hmm. I love expensive makeup. I love designers. And I really fell in love with all your reviews because, you know, a lot of people think, oh, well, if something's expensive, it works. It, no, and it doesn't. And I think I, I was out to prove that because I was in, where was I? I was in Neiman's and I saw the Louboutin lipsticks, $90 yeah. lipstick. That's kind of what started it all. Yep. And this was a couple of years ago. Yeah, when and they first I launched those, I was so excited. I picked it up and I asked what the price was. And my first response was literally like, what the fuck? Yeah. 
when they told you yeah, 80, I'm like, what, what's what, the they were 95 or 85? Yeah. No, they're 90. Yeah, and they're 90. And, and you were huge. like, oh. I'm like. And the packaging is stunning. It, it looks, is. It looks like it an is. Egyptian, like, crazy. I said I was going to decorate a, a Christmas tree with all the little, like, those yeah. little ornaments. Um, but I felt like it would be a really fun review, and I felt like it would be a really cool first impressions to kind of do this throughout yeah, the day. Yeah, because no one had really reviewed it until you. And that went viral, and then people were asking me to try more expensive makeup. Okay. And it kind of just kicked off from there. I love that. That's really when I was happened. first looking at YouTube stuff, when I was starting my channel, I was like, okay, all I wear is a lot of this expensive shit. Are people gonna be like weird about it? Are mm -hmm. they gonna treat me different? Everyone has been so cool because it's like, look, this is just me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to fake something no, I'm not. Not at all. But and what when you you use anything that works. Yes. And I love that. And I think lately, I'm really happy that so many drugstore brands are stepping up their formulas. Because mm -hmm. I feel like when we were younger, drugstore was not always the best. It was not At all. Good. The formulas were garbage. No. And I'm just going to say that. Right? They were. To make a 99 cent wet and wild lipstick work, you had to pray. You had to mix in you some did. And now wet and wild is like slain. Like, yes. Now yes. they're making highlighters comparable to Tom Ford. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Yeah. We're not already on lips. No, I'm just doing it before I, I kind of bounce around. That's cool. Okay. No, I love it because everyone does it different. Yeah. So just save your highlighting to highlight. I'm with saving me. my highlighting. I usually like to save highlight to last because I kind of like to see the balance of everything. Okay. So, I love so that's that. Good. I love that your husband is so supportive of everything you do. He is. And everybody, actually, I don't know what everybody thinks, but. From day one, when I said I wanted to start my channel, he was yeah. so supportive, and I had a ex-boyfriend before James, okay. where I wanted to start a YouTube channel. And they were not and supportive? not supportive. Wow. He's like, no, that's embarrassing, don't do it. Embarrassing? I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. Woo! <laughs> you know, don't, and that was the ghost of boyfriend's past. Right? He's like, what do you say about me, girl? <laughs> Oh my um, god. Yeah, it's not supportive, and I was really surprised wow. that James, you know, James is an entrepreneur. He's had many successful businesses. Yeah. He was all about me having mine. I love and, that. You know, and I I was not yes. good when I started out, but he was so supportive. When you uploaded your video of seeing your very first one, mm -hmm. like, wasn't it so cool? Oh I just my think, god. Like, looking back at the history and, like, her evolution mm -hmm. as a YouTuber is so cool to see. Like, you were around before crazy ring lights and kinos and diva lights and all these things. Yes. Like, it's cool. So I'm just deepening this crease over here. What are we doing? Okay. That lip is, is like, really pretty. Right? Yeah. I'm like, oh. All right. We're getting there. We're blending our lives away and our yes. wrists away. Yes. And I'm realizing I have a makeup emergency. What'd you do? And I'm literally going to throw a tantrum because I didn't pack mascara. Girl. No, you did not. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I have a brand new roller lash, um, and I don't have pink eye. Do you mind? Please. For real? Are I, you're cool I don't with mind that? sharing with people that I'm, I know. Okay. All right. <laughs> if you're a stranger off the street, I don't know if I'd let you use my mascara. I'm good. I promise. Okay. Before we get to mascara, um, I think the most important step is always glitter. Like you put yep. it down with the skinny dip. Yep. Got my little situation. foil. Now we need some glitter. I'm gonna use the Stila in smoldering satin. This oh. is one of the uh, magnificent love... metals. Yes. And this just kind of takes like boring to fabulous really fast. Honestly, okay. next level with one swipe. Look at that. Oh, that's one of my favorites, you guys. They already know what it is for those. And they keep putting out new colors and I'm mm -hmm. just like, bring it on. So yesterday, um, Tati texted me a really sweet message and you watched my story time video. Yes. And I, I thought that it. was really cool of you to, you know, I mean, just even take time out of your day and like watch something I think is really awesome. Um, what do you really think about it? Because, you know, it's a little scary to be vulnerable online. So many people have opinions and I'm like, mm -hmm. you know what? I don't have anything to lose. I'm just going to be really real with my audience and just share some things that I think are important. And I think that you need to open up even more. And obviously your audience loved it so much. I personally really loved it. I loved what you had to say about your relationship, obviously. But also for me, a part that I connected with was people hating on you for being successful or for getting to this place because I didn't always have a very big life. Yeah. I really came from nothing and I know that you have a similar story. Yeah. And like, I love that you remind people to get inspired instead of jealous, where if you see someone with a nice bag, a nice life, a nice anything, if you want that, then come up with your plan to go and get it. Yes, and execute it and never give up. I mean, it's taken 10 
long years. Yes. They also feel like short years, it, but it's yeah. also a long journey of, you know, from A all the way to B. And I think people forget that because they're just seeing me now and as things grow, I think people, I don't know what they think, but it's like they didn't know me even three years ago yeah. when I was in a two bedroom little apartment, you know, yeah. not sure how I'm gonna put food on the table yeah. for, for me um, and, you know, and my family you know, they needed help. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm helping pay rent for people. Well, I can barely afford my own rent, trying to put, you know, mm -hmm. I'm trying to buy food for my dogs, and it's just like, you know, it's just wild to see how people react to success, and I think it's so bizarre that people are so negative nowadays. People don't know how to be inspired anymore because there's just so much negativity out there. Well, and the and other it, thing that people know is it's not quick. You don't just like think of a dream and tomorrow get it. You no, gotta climb that mountain. You gotta get to work and you gotta put in the time. Yes, exactly. And I think people forget that. Um, side note, hi, uh, liner over here on a plane. <laughs> I'm living it dangerously <laughs> right now. She's taking it there. I really <laughs> wanted to do story time. And I think maybe I will. It's scary, huh? It is very scary. For lips today, I'm gonna to be going in with a new shade from the Lip Ammo line. This is Birthday Suit. Love it's it. It's a really pretty nude. Oh, I yeah, just, that, that creamsicle though, come on. Oh. I know, I'm like, oh. I am all <laughs> about the yummy scents with lip products. When they smell and taste like uh. floral, I can't, I can't hang with that. The overdraw is a little extreme today, but you know what? It's all good. Yeah, this is not my normal glam, but I'm getting it done. I'm making it work. That's right. <laughs> okay, is it time to highlight? It is time to highlight. So you're going to go in with some Eclipse today? Yes, I am. And blind everyone. I'm going to go in with a little summer snow cone. I love it. From the Chrome collection. This color really works for me. Like, it is the perfect shade for me, actually. Yes. All right, let's douse our entire lives. <laughs> Feeling the burn. I know. I, I'm like, oh, that you know gets me off. Some people will sit there with chapstick and like have that weird thing where they put on too many layers of chapstick. Yes. That's me and highlight. I love that. I'm like, uh huh. Can you tell me more? Yes, cheekbones. Highlighting the shoulders. Ooh. Uh -huh. A little bit everywhere. Tell me more. <laughs> I just love the tip. It's just something about it. It's so beautiful. Just can I do this for you? Someone take a separate brush. Oh. Summer snow cone is so pretty on the body, subtly. Look at that arm uh, though, what? Okay, even me out. You know what I love to do? Hmm. Look at your arm now. Oh, I die. She's like, oh, you better even me out, honey. Even me out? <laughs> all right, first of all, we can't leave without setting spray. No. That would be horrifying. I use two. Do you always use I one mean, or two? I mean, I love two. doing two, maybe three. <laughs> I love that, by I am in love. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, it makes your skin look great, but the scent of it The scent. Is okay, so we just talked about how we, it's hard to go through things. I've done a mm -hmm. full one of those. Me too. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do a little Urban Decay. All nighter. Time Ready? to set. With the fan? mirror. You need one of these. Jeffrey, you need one of these. Mm. It's from Maui. Oh, smells good. Is it? Yeah. It's my favorite place. Yes. Me too. She went crazy with the uh, Urban Decay. <laughs> All right, I think that we are ready to hit Vegas. All right. Woo!
right, everybody, we just got back on the private jet and we had a really good time in Vegas. Yes, and I got, I got a little, a little Yes, <laughs> Tati got moment. some stunning Van Cleef diamond earrings. And like, you know, as I was telling Christian, um, while you were in the bathroom, I was like, the look of like, I don't even know how to explain it. It was like, like when a girl first sees something so pretty and you were just like, it was so cool to see like such a cute, genuine reaction. It was really well, it's sweet. a memory. I want to like remember this day forever. This was incredible. Was Our really first fun. collab. Yes. And on a jet. I mean, unreal. Yes. So, um, first of all, if you guys are not already, please head over to Tati's channel and subscribe to her channel. Everything will be linked down below. And we did something for your channel. Let them know what the yes. hell we did. We tried out a crazy $5,000 mask. So, <laughs> oh my so God. Go These, they're going to slap me when they I hear know, that price I know, point. right? I kind of can't even take myself seriously with that. But go <laughs> check it out. It's a good time. And yeah. Thank you so much for um, coming on my channel and thank you for having me. Um, the video and everything, of course, will be linked down below, so check it out. I mean, you guys, you get to see us without any makeup, trying on some skincare, and then we get to come back to this. We did both for you guys. All right, you guys, we are about to head home and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Mwah. Mwah.